Sophia the First, written by Catherine Hopka, illustrated by Grace Lee. This is Sophia. It used to be just Sophia and her mom, but then her mom married King Roland. Now Sophia's mom is the Queen of Enchantia, and Sophia is a princess. The trouble is, Sophia doesn't really know anything about being a princess. She never had to do a royal wave. She's not sure when to curtsy, or even which fork to use at dinner. I'll never be as perfect a princess as my new stepsister Amber, Sophia says. Just be yourself, and you'll be fine, her mom tells her. Sophia isn't sure that will work. How can I be myself and be a princess at the same time? She asks. Then King Roland, her new dad, tries to help. He gives Sophia a beautiful necklace called the Amulet of Avalor. Her dad says it's a welcome to the family gift, and that lots of princesses before her have worn it. Then he tells Sophia they're having a royal ball in her honor. He says they'll dance the first waltz together. That's another thing she doesn't know how to do: dance. Maybe there will be a dance class at my new school, Royal Prep Academy. Sophia says the headmistresses are three fairies named Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. They promise to teach her everything about being a princess. Hooray! Sophia says, "I do have a dance class." Amber lends Sophia a pair of special shoes. I think she's starting to like me. Sophia says to herself, "Oh no! Amber tricked me. The shoes are under a magic spell." The whole class laughs at Sophia, but even worse, Sophia still doesn't know how to waltz, and the ball is tonight. Then Sophia remembers Cedric, the sorcerer at the castle. James, her stepbrother, says Cedric has all sorts of magic spells. Sophia asks Cedric to help. He writes down some magic words. He says if Sophia recites them at the ball, she'll be able to waltz like a real princess. All hail Princess Sophia, says Bailiwick, as Sophia enters the ballroom. Shall we dance? The king says. Sophia recites Cedric's magic words. Somnibus. Populous Sella, but she doesn't start to dance. Instead, everyone at the ball falls asleep, even Cedric. Oh no! What have I done? Help! Sophia cries. Suddenly, her amulet glows, and Cinderella appears. Your amulet brought me here, she tells Sophia. When a princess is in trouble, another will come to help. Can you reverse the spell, Cinderella? Sophia asks. No, I can't. But your new sister might be able to help. But Amber's been so mean to me, Sophia says. Cinderella knows what it's like to have mean stepsisters. I wish I had given my stepsisters a second chance. She says, "Perhaps that's what Amber needs." Then she disappears. Amber is still in her room. She never made it to the ball. Amber finally tells Sophia why she's been acting so mean. I was worried that everyone would like you more than me, she says sadly. No one could ever be as perfect a princess as you, Amber. Sophia says. Sophia tells Amber about Cedric's magic spell. They search his workshop, 
and find a spell that will wake everyone up. Then they hurry to the ballroom. Wait, Amber says. I owe you a dance lesson. Now Sophia knows they are true sisters and ever after friends. When Sophia gets to the ballroom, she says the magic words and everyone wakes up. Then the king and Sophia begin to waltz. Sophia looks over at Amber and smiles. I can't believe how happy I am, Sophia says to herself. I think I'm going to fit into this royal family after all. Sophia, her dad says, I'm so proud of you. You dance wonderfully. Thank you, your majesty. I mean, dad. You know, Sophia, being a princess is about having a good heart. And you're going to make a great princess. Dad, I've been wondering, why do they call you King Roland II? She asks. Because my father was also named Roland, he tells her. Well. She says, I guess that makes me Sophia the first. And she is one princess who can't wait to see what happens tomorrow and all the days happily ever after.